Hi, my name is Rick Lewis, and I've been a birder for over 30 years. One can't help seeing everything while you're out birding. You start stepping over rocks and wildflowers and lizards and such, and soon it's all commingled. Photography and being out in it is who I am. The brown pelican is a symbol for what we can do if we act positively. It has been brought back from the brink of extinction by banning DDT. Look at the mass of godwits and willets and you must feel rejuvenated. The rustling of feathers and the energy in their mingling is contagious. They are crowding the boardwalk at Arrowhead Marsh, not because of a wooden platform, but because of habitat and food. The continued existence of the California clapper rail is entirely dependent on wetlands habitat. It would be wonderful to see these birds in more spots along the shoreline. When we hear its call, we may see and hear a thing bigger than our own small universe. Notice the S-shape and the egret's pose. The beauty and elegance of egrets, universally recognized, belies their predatory success. Its meal is found on the wetlands menu, provided a healthy waters around the bay. And we thought it was only humanity that went the extra stretch. Don't attempt this move at home, but do try to be flexible. Annas are considered common and easily recognizable. Common though they be, they do not fail to turn heads and startle us out of the ordinary. This photograph took first place in a 1986 photo contest. A motocross bike so aptly named Free Spirit is being sucked into the mud amidst bird tracks at what was once called the Emeryville Mud Flats. The bike is gone, the birds have remained. This photo was taken in 2008 at Arrowhead Marsh. The decoy is faded by the sun, wind, rain, and exposure to the elements. What stories would it tell if it could speak? Imagine thousands of ducks overhead looking for a place to land. And now imagine they have no place to land. My heart would have it that they find some respite here. These birds add a wild magic to our urban landscape. If we restore the bay's wetlands, we can keep them here for us and future generations. Imagine a landscape bereft of their charm, color, music, and frenetic energy. A small investment now will help us sustain our mutual health, our mutual existence, our mutual necessity for tomorrow. This is Rick Lewis. Thank you for listening.